Welcome to the Big Data and Hadoop tutorial series presented by Coso IT. This video is focused on MapReduce. In this topic, we are going to talk about MapReduce with an example. We will see the MapReduce building blocks and what is Mapper and what is Reducer. We will be talking about the word count job and then we will be talking about the combiner role in word count job. Finally, we'll be doing one hands-on exercise on how to run a word count job in Eclipse in Java. So let us understand MapReduce with an example. Supposing you want to count how many spades are there in a deck of cards. And it's a big challenge because you want to count the total number of spades in supposing four deck of cards. And this task, instead of doing alone, you divide the task among four players so that it can be done quickly. Then you tell each player to count how many of the cards they hold are spades and then report that number back to you. Finally, you add up the sums from the players to arrive at some conclusion and get the final result. So there are basically two phases involved in this whole process. First one is the map phase when you are telling each person to count. In the reduction phase, instead of having them hand you back only spade cards, you have them reduce what you are looking for down to a number. So what is MapReduce? So MapReduce is the processing part of core Hadoop and it's a programming model that processes and analyzes huge data sets logically into separate clusters. So we have seen in our playing cards example that we can speed up the job execution by dividing the task among four players. And MapReduce works on the same principle. MapReduce process is a massive parallel processing setup which helps to speed up the process. MapReduce building blocks. It consists of basically two broad level phases, the map phase and the reduce phase. And the, both the phases, they take input data in the form of key value pair and they emit the data or give the output as key value pair. And once ma map phase is over, reducers start running in parallel on the nodes. Though reducers need not wait for all the mappers to complete, they start running in parallel and doing their task. Generally, the data set is so huge that one instance of map and reduce block is not sufficient to process all the data. So there are M into N instances of mapper and reducer involved in processing large data sets. And the mapper programs, they run in parallel on the data nodes. So map reduce is a massive parallel processing setup which helps to speed up the process. So it solves most of the analysis problems related to big data because it can spread calculations over clusters of computers. The first thing to devise a solution in MapReduce is to divide the task in two phases, the mapper and the reducer. So typical MapReduce program will have three main components a driver class, a mapper class, and a reducer class. So let us see some of the features of mapper class. The mapper class extend classes from package org.apache.hadoop.mapreduce and it maps input key value pairs to the set of intermediate key value pairs. Maps are the individual tasks which transform input records into intermediate records. And the transformed intermediate records need not be of the same type as the input records. By default, the value is a data record and the key is generally the offset of the data record from the beginning of the data file. So framework spawns one map task for each input split generated by input format. Before the reduce phase begins, there is a process called shuffle sort that takes place. And MapReduce makes the guarantee that the input to every reducer is sorted by key. 
the process by which the system performs the sort and transfers the map outputs to the reducers as inputs is known as shuffle. So it also extends class from package org.apache.hadoop.mapreduce. And shuffle copies sorted output from each mapper through HTTP across network and sort applies merge sort on the input keys. So this shuffle and sorting is happening simultaneously while fetching the input. Then the reducer class reduce function calls for each key and collection of values. So output of reduce is then written to record writer via context object. Let us understand MapReduce word count job. This is our input which is the collection of words cat, bat, rat. Here's next phase is splitting. Splitting would convert this job into number of tasks. Say 3 key value pairs in which key is the byte offset and value is the collection of these words. Next is the mapping phase. Mapping phase generates the key value pairs of the input and generate words from lines and by default value of 1 is being allotted to the each key. Next phase is the shuffling phase. It refers to sorting the data based on the keys and the, finally in the last phase called the reduction phase the data is reduced based on the repeated key and the words. And coming on to the final result, the word is counted and given the result in the form of key value pairs. Let us see the mapper code. A user defined map function is applied to each input record to produce a list of intermediate key value pairs. First, input is split into words and then output of map function is produced as key value pairs with words as key and value as 1. The key value output for mapper is now fed to reduce function which finally sums and aggregates the count of the words. The output is again in the form of key value pair and this is the key is the word and value is the word count. Finally we need to write one more class that is the driver class it is responsible to execute the map reduce framework and the job object allows you to configure the mapper reducer input format output format etc so this is the code that goes in the driver class which configures and runs the mapper reducing program on a data set it also sets the input and output formats and locations it sets the mapper and reducer programs it specifies the mapper output and the reducer output. There is one more optional class that is the combiner. So it is an optional class and is also known as semi-reducer. Combiner class is used in between the map class and the reduce class. It basically reduces the volume of data that is being transferred between map and reduce. So primary role of combiner is to optimize or minimize the number of key value pairs that are shuffled over the network between mappers and reducers. So it reduces intermediate data and disk writes. It reduces data to be transferred over network and is represented by the same interface as reducer. Combiner can be specified as job.setCombiner class. So here in this diagram we can see that combiner plays a role of optimizing the number of key value pairs that are uh, spread across the network after the shuffling. So this phase will reduce the number of key value pairs and produce an optimized result that can be used by redu reducer. Let us now do a simple hands-on on how to run a word count job in Java in Eclipse. Let's open up our Eclipse in Cloudera VM. As a first step, we are going to create a Java project, let's say word count job. 
I've already created, you can go from File, New and Java Project. After selecting this, you can create a Java project named Word Count Job. After creating the package, in this a typical MapReduce program will have three main components, a driver class, a mapper class and a reducer class. This word mapper, we have created a mapper class which is going to do the function of uh, splitting the line into words and then giving the output in the form of key value pair where key is the word and value is one. Then the reducer class which takes the output of mapper as input in the form of key value pair and then gives the output in the form of key value pair only where key is the word and value is the count of the words. Count is calculated by summing up the total number of counts per words. Then we have the word count.java class which is the driver class and it's responsible to execute the map reduce framework. Job object here allows you to uh, configure the mapper, reducer and the input and output formats. We also need to have necessary jar files in this project so we can go to build path and configure the build path and adding the important libraries here. In under user lib hadoop to map reduce we are going to add these jar files. Again going to a user lib. Hadoop, we'll be adding these necessary jar files. I've already added. After adding the necessary jar files and writing our code, next step we're going to create is export this project as jar. Let's name is wc.jar and we are going to create a jar file in slash home cloud era. I have already done that so I am cancelling it. So after creating the jar file, next step would be to run that jar file. Let's open up our terminal. Here we are going to create an input file and give the input so that word count job can count the number of words present in our file. Here we are going to provide the input as cat, rat, mat, hat. So this is the content of a file, file1. Now we are going to put this file into HDFS. Using Hadoop FS put command. Let's name this HDFS file1. Let's run our word count job. Hadoop jar. Now we are going to provide the name of a jar file that is wc.jar. Then the name of our driver class that is word count. Name of our input file present in hdfs. And then the output file. Let's name it out file 1. and run a word count job. A map reduce job is complete. Now let us check in out file 1 what is the output. Out file 1 will be a directory with part temp files. 
So that generates the output as number of words and then the count with them. Bat is occurring once, cat is occurring for the four times. So that has counted our number of words here in the word count job. Thanks for watching a MapReduce tutorial. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or register for in-depth big data training on www.coursoit.com.